What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a sad one. This is probably going to be my last BDSP video for rank battles I ever record. Considering Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out this Friday, I just think this one's going to be the last one. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the BDSP content I have been bringing you guys. But today we are rocking out with Umbreon alongside with some of the best Pokemon in BDSP doubles. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Genes community. Like I already mentioned, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out rather soon. So you guys definitely want to subscribe to stay up to date on all of my content I am going to be bringing out for that game. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview starting off with umbreon i know a lot of you guys want to see umbreon so i, I made sure i got you guys umbreon before we actually finish off bdsp doubles but umbreon sitting here with the leftovers as item and then its ability is going to be inner focus its evs are fully maxed out in hp split between defense speed and special defense so this pokemon is very very bulky it is insanely bulky and insanely strong give it the leftovers it's going to be able to rock out really really strong move set for this guy it's going to be foul play you want to put pokemon to sleep snarl and protect but this Pokemon's kind of here just for a nice little support guy. He's got the Snarl for special attack drops. Foul play do big damage on physical attackers. He can put Pokemon to sleep. And again, he's just very bulky all around so he can stay in the battle for a long time. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy Infernape over here. Very good at fake out control because it's very fast and it hits pretty hard. And it learns fake out, obviously. And then it's got close combat, Flare Blitz for stab. And then it's got U-turn to pivot out. And that's his moveset. Ability for this guy is going to be that Blaze. It doesn't really have any great ability besides Iron Fist, but we're not using punching moves. I like its other moves a little bit better. Item for this guy is going to be the Focus Ash, so he doesn't die in one shot. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Togekiss over here. Togekiss is super, super strong in this format, as long as you're not going up against Pokemon like Sizzle or Heatran. This one's got the Scope Lens alongside with Super Luck as its ability. Oh, this one has Hustle. We gotta change this one out. We have to change this one out. Why does this one have Hustle? I got you guys. You guys can actually see my boxes. Let's go find. Let's go find it. Let's go find my good Togus. Look at all these Pokemon I have. Look at them all, guys. I got tons of them. These are Pokemon I use for the ranks, but these are my boxes right here. I'm looking for a Super Luck Togus. I know I have a bunch. Here's one right here. Attack no good, and it has a scope lens. Is this going to be the one? Let's check the summary make sure. I think this is the one. But yeah, good thing I caught that. Yeah, so scope lens as its uh, item. It is rocking Super Luck as its ability. EVs are pretty solid for this guy, and then move set's gonna be pretty normal with Dazzling, air slash protect and follow me thank god i caught on to that because if i was using a hustle togekiss i would have been upset for not getting any flinches but good to know good to know that we swapped it out fourth pokemon on today's team is going to be gyarados over here cannot go wrong with this pokemon been using it a lot in bdsp just super strong and i think it is op with the intimidate and just being able to just be very strong in this format it's got waterfall ice fang dragon ants protect intimidate as its ability like we already mentioned and then last but not least the item it is holding is going to be that lumberry Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Garchomp over here. We got the Bright Powder to raise its evasiveness. It's got the Sand Veil to raise its evasiveness even more in the Sandstorm. And the moveset is great with Sword Sands Protect, Dragon Claw, and EQ. Can I have Garchomp on your team without Tyranitar? Tyranitar sets that Sandstorm, helps our Garchomp get some dodges out there. It's got Protect, it's got Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide, abilities to Sandstream, and then item it is holding is that Life Orb to make it do as much damage as possible. But guys, here's the Umbreon team. I'm loving it. Let's go hop into the Coliseum, look to grab some wins with it. First match coming at you guys, going up against a really cool team. He's got Crobat for speed control. He's got the Mammoth Swine for big physical attacking damage and for first turn priority with the Ice Shard. He also has Arcanine for support and Intimidates. Rotom, Wash, Latias, or Latios, I should say, for more uh, speed control. That thing also learns Tailwind just like Crobat. And last but not least, he's got one of my favorite Pokemon, Breloom. And I'm actually super excited for Breloom to be in, uh, not Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet. I was going to say Sword and Shield, but yeah, it's going to be in Scarlet and Violet. Definitely a really good rank uh, doubles Pokemon, especially without Dynamax. So cannot wait to see that Pokemon in action. But how should we go about this one? How should we play it? I might lead Infernape turn one. I think that could be pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to lead Infernape. We could go in with Intimidate, which is kind of scary because we have a bunch of physical attackers. We have a bunch of physical attackers, but I really like Togekiss in this situation. So I'm going to go Infernape, Togekiss, bring Umbreon in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm leaning a bit more towards Gyarados here. Gyarados is just super effective up against a few of these guys, so I'm really liking Gary here. Gary the Gyarados, or I could go Titar. Titar is pretty strong here too. Titar is super effective up against a few here as well. Do I go Titar or do I go Gary? And Gary has Intimidate, but he has Inner Focus on a few, or at least one, and Oblivious on two of his physical attackers. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go 
I'm thinking T-Tar here. I'm kind of thinking T-Tar. Yeah, let's go T-Tar here. T-Tar just seems like he gets a lot of value out of this. So yeah, I'm going to rock out with T-Tar. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But let's see who our opponent leads. Crobat and Rotom, which I don't really mind. Crobat and Rotom come out here. I can't pick that out. I can pick out the Rotom if I want. I could definitely pick out the Rotom. I might just pick out the Rotom. Go fake out and I could go Gleam or I could go Air Slash and look for the flinch. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Air Slash and look for the flinch. Let's see what it does. He protects Rotom. Smart little play. I was going to double down into Crobat, which I probably should have done. Should have thought a bit, thought this play through a little bit longer because we knew that thing was protected. That's why I Air Slash and Slash. Let's try to get the flinch. He outspeeds me anyway. It don't matter. Okay, so. Cool. Flinch chance is not there. It is not there. It is not present. Air Slash going to fly through here. Chip up some nice damage. Was that crit? It's not a crit. So a crit would KO. A crit would KO. Um, I don't focus Ash. I could go into a close combat here. I could just U-turn pivot, which I'm kind of leaning towards here. Rotom would be that Pokemon that we would have to get rid of. So, you know, what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to gleam across the board. You know, it's not very effective on the Crobat. I'm kind of digging this. There's two Pokemon that are very strong up against mine right now. He's a poison type for my Togekiss. He's a water type for my Infernape. Let's see what he does here. Let's straight for Brave Bird here. He's going to Brave Bird into my Infernape, which I don't mind. We have Focus Ash, and I think we can eat up a Thunderbolt, right? We should be able to eat up a Thunderbolt. He takes some mean recoil damage. Maybe this Gleam could take him out if we get a crit. Thunderbolt comes in here, and oh, you double into my Infernape. Double into my Infernape. Okay. Can this Gleam take out, please? This would be beautiful if you can. Gleam flying. Take out the Crobat. Get him out of here. We do not get rid of him. Um, I think now would just be a smart play to go into the Umbreon. Start snarling out. I'm all about it. Let's get out Umbreon here. I feel like T-Tar can get some work done once we get rid of this. I'm going to bring out Umbreon. I do have leftovers on this thing. And I just think we snarl here. We just snarl and we go for another Gleam. I could protect here too. I might protect this turn. I am just going to protect it. Protect this turn and start wasting out Tailwind. I could see a Thunderbolt coming across, but I could start snarling just to neglect some damage here. We could be looking pretty good. But he's going to taunt me. That's fine. I'm already snarling. I'm already snarling, buddy. That kind of sucks. I can't protect your yawn later. You're going to Willow us. Smart play by him. I'll give it to him all day. Wow, I could have just... Did he breathe that protect? That kind of hurts. I think he was just waiting for me to protect so he can attack. But that will was kind of hurts considering my, uh... It's going to kind of neglect my leftovers. That was a rather smart play by him. And I can't protect anymore. But I dropped special attack, which is beautiful. And I can straight up gleam into that, uh... I could gleam into the... What's it called? I could just gleam to take out the Crobat, which I think I'm going to do. So that was going to be good. I, I'm, not, I'm just hoping he's not rocking cross poison. And I feel like it's coming in right now. That kind of sucks. If I didn't protect there, we could have taken out the uh, Crobat. We could have had it did some good damage onto the Rotom. Let's see what he does. He's going to U-turn out. Smart play by him. So he U-turns out. we will soak up pretty well. A little bulky. Bro. We're just insanely bulky. And he's going to save that Crobat for later. So I guess he's saving Tailwind turns. I guess that's fine. I guess that is fine. And he's going to send out Mamoswine. Do not mind Mamoswine coming out here. Do not mind Mamoswine coming out here. He's going to Thunderbolt me. He should be able to eat this up, Togi. All day. Ooh, it didn't even do half. Thank you, Snarl. Thank you, Snarl. So Gleam's going to be able to fly here again. Do some nice damage onto the Pokemon. And he's going to have to pop a Citrus Berry. The Citrus Berry comes through here. I feel like... Hmm, what should we do here? What should we do here? Umbreon's chilling. He's doing a decent amount of damage with Snarl. He's getting a special attack drop. Oh, that's why. We got a crit. I was wondering why we did a decent amount of damage. <laughs> we got a crit. We get the special attack drop. I feel like we just foul play and we... Right? Double down the Mammoth Swine. We hit up that Rotom. Yeah, if I can get rid of the Rotom, I can do really, really well with my T-Tar. So that's going to be decently close. Decently close. Tailwind's gone. That's lovely. That's beautiful. Foul play can now fly out here. I feel like uh, what's called might be fast on the field. I feel like uh, Tokus might be fast on the field. Let's see. We know Rotom can't take us out. I mean, if Rotom and Mammoth Swine double down on my Tokus, yeah, we're dead because he can Ice Shard. But I don't think anyone's faster than my Togekiss. Togekiss is rather fast. Let's see. He's going to withdraw the Rotom. That's fine. I'm foul playing into this, uh... Into this, what's it called? Into this Mammoth Swine. And he's going to actually outspeed with Mammoth Swine. Icicle Spear is going to come through there. We're dead all day. It's a fast Mammoth Swine. 
I don't think I ever realized how fast Mammoth Swine really is because it's just so big. A lot of Pokemon you go straight off of like how they look. <laughs> like if they look fast, they're probably fast. Oh, that thing's Orb too. They look fast, they're probably fast. But Mammoth Swine looks slow and he's fast. So like, there's a lot of people off. Foul Play comes through here. That's a nice amount of damage. Leftover's gonna come through here. Um, he is gonna be able to set up another tail one, which kind of sucks. He is gonna be able to set up another tail one. The tail one's gonna be able to come out here. Taunt's gone. Um, T-Tar's gonna fly out here, which I really like. Hmm, this is a great battle. This is a great battle. Umbreon's doing some good work. A Snarl should be able to pick up the double kill. Um, hmm. We know Mammoth Swine doesn't take any buff of damage, so do I Snarl or do I- I think I just Foul Play into him. I think I just Foul Play, get rid of the Mammoth Swine, and I, I just protect here. We can't afford to lose this Pokemon. Let's see. We protect. He's probably setting up the Tailwind, which kind of hurts his soul. Just a tad bit. And Tailwind comes out here. Yep. And hopefully he's going for an Ice Move into my t right? Just for an EQ. Wow. That's a smart play. I was going to Dragon Dance, too. I was going to Dragon Dance, but Umbreon... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that a crit? Of course. Of course. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That was a crit. I like, why? Why does he have to get a crit there? My Umbreon's bulking out shots. And this dude has to get a crit. Come on now. Come on now. Take it out, please. Thank you. Okay, so we get that double kill. I am terrified of this uh, Rotom. This Rotom with a Hydro Pump could 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 be devastating. Could be devastating, but he could also miss a Hydro Pump, which could be good. But yeah, we kind of been in the uh, in in it. We we dug ourselves a hole in Battle Number One. We're hanging out pretty good, but this Rotom's gonna be a pain. And of course, he has a lot of us in the back. Adios can do me dirty. But if I can get off a snarl. Oh, I could get off a lovely little snarl. It could be sitting pretty good. I could foul play too, but snarl's gonna be my play. I'm gonna go for a snarl and I think I should go for a rock slide. Rock slide might be able to take out that uh that road time. Just for an energy ball. Of course you're right. Don't double down on my T Tar. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Don't be going for hydro pump. Miss it. Nope, I'm dead. Go after Umbreon, please. Nope, T Tar's dead. T Tar's not surviving. Can you survive that? Maybe? Nah, no shot. No shot, it comes down to just my Umbreon, and yeah, Umbreon's not going to be able to eat up the next two shots. If I had Protect again, I would have Protect it, which would have been nice, but I wasted my Protect on that last turn. And I probably should have just Dragon Dance. I could Dragon Dance, Protect, Snarl, and then get after the Pokemon, but that was a tough one. That was a tough one, but Umbreon gets to showcase battle number one. Not too bad with the Umbreon. His team just overpowered me with that Rotom, and then the Tailwind had Speed Control for him. But hey, we're going to run this battle. We're going to hop through a second battle and look for a first win. Second match come at you guys, and I wanted that rematch. I rematched our opponent. We're looking for our first win. Let's get after it. He's probably going to uh, lead a Tailwind Pokemon again. So either Crobat or I would say Latios, right? Makes the most sense. So I feel like T-Tar is going to be a solid lead. I might lead a T-Tar and Garchomp combo. I feel like that wouldn't be too bad. It gives us a Sand Veil. We can outspeed a decent amount. Um, if he leads Mamoswine, that could be tough. I think in that place, I could just... I could lead Gyarados instead. I could definitely lead Gyarados instead, because I kind of did Gyarados here. I think I am going to lead Gyarados. Or I can lead Infernape. Infernape with the fake out, but then he has Oblivious on the Mammoth Swan. He has Inner Focus on the uh, Crobat. I just don't like that. So, you know what? I'm going to go either Gyarados or Garchomp. Which I lead? I think Mammoth Swan's got to be a lead, right? So I feel like I'm going to go Gyarados here. I just like Gyarados all around. We'll bring Garchomp in the back end and have a little bit of support action with Umbreon. I kind of dig it. I think we have a lot of attack power, so supporting with Umbreon or like a Pokemon like Focus would have been nice. And I chose Umbreon over top of Tokus because we haven't used Umbreon yet in uh in the uh, Coliseum. So I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. You're gonna end up sending out Crobat and Mammoth Swine. So cool. So we predict the uh, Tailwind lead, and we get off Intimidate. That's not gonna affect him, but we didn't want Garchomp out here with an Ice Pokemon. You know, it's just it's just no good. It's just no good. So Oblivious comes out here. Intimidate's not gonna affect him. Sandstream is going to get rolling. So I feel like from here, we just pop a nice little rock slide into a waterfall, right? Rock slide into waterfall, probably our best bet. We get off some mean damage here. I'm all about it. We're just going to get straight attacking. I mean, Mammoth Swine is scaring me a little bit. Okay, which rolls Mammoth Swine? That's totally fine. Into Rotom, maybe? You want in the Rotom? Yeah. If Rotom comes out here. I don't mind that. I was going to Dragon Dance my, uh, uh, what's it called? I was going to Dragon Dance my Gyarados, but I'll take some damage. I'll take some damage here. Waterfall flying. Built. Doing a little bit of damage. Not, nothing too crazy, but Rock Side, we're going to hope lands, which it does. Beautiful. And it's going to do some good damage to that Crobat. 
and just almost take him out. He's gonna start taking buffets, which is good. He starts taking some buffets. Um, I could D-dance here. I could definitely D-dance. I'm trying to think of what I could do because Rotom is a pain, dude. I could double protect. Uh, I mean, he could either Hydro Pump or Thunderbolt. Buffets leave this thing on legit one. He could either Hydro Pump me or... Mm. This is tough, man. My swine's going to be a pain. You have Umbreon in the back. Umbreon's not going to do anything crazy. Um, Actually, I could swap. Who do you think he's going to go after? I feel like we keep our Garrus. I kind of want my Garrus. When I have Buffets take out the Crobat, I'm just going to hard swap my Garrus into my Umbreon. That's my play. That is the Gene's play. That is Gene's play. So, Crobat's going to go down here to Buffets. We'll let him get off one more turn. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Let's for Brave Bird. Let's for Brave Bird into the slot. We're able to serve pretty well. He's going to go down there. And hopefully this thing can miss his Hydro Pump. Because now we know it's going for a Hydro Pump. It wouldn't have went for a Brave Bird into that slot. Unless it was going for a... Uh, a th if it was going for a Thunderbolt. He goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's a rather smart play. I am orbed. My Gyarados has a Lumberry. I'm going to crunch this thing. Bop, bop. Some nice damage. Can we get a Defense Drop? We do not get a Defense Drop. Okay. The Buffet's flying through here. Um, I think I could Snarl and Buffet that thing down and KO it, right? I think that could work. Is he forced to bring out Mamo again? Is he going to bring out Mamo again? Because I would love to protect Titar and keep it alive. Hmm. What do we think he's going to do? It's going to be close battle. So we know he has Mamoswine in the back end. He has Rotom chilling out here right now. He's going to bring out Mamoswine. So many of the Mammoth is out and about. Um... Hmm. I think I have to just protect you. I'm not going to Snarl. Because I feel like Mamoswine usually rocks the Focus Sash. And then Snarl could deal some damage alongside with the buffs to take out the Rotom. So, kind of about that turn. So hopefully he's not double down on Umbreon slot here. Go for an EQ. Smart play there. He might be double down on my Umbreon. But I feel like Umbreon should be able to eat up. As long as he doesn't get a crit. He got a crit in the last one. Wow, that did some mean damage too. I should have realized it's not Sash. It's uh, it's sitting here with that. And he made the read. He made the read. Can you eat that, Umbreon? You're bulk. You are bulky. I love you. Umbreon's so bulky. I love his Pokemon. Oh, I made the Protect read, which was smart. And we're going to be able to Snarl. And Buffets aren't going to be able to take out. That hurts. That one hurts. Buffets aren't going to be able to take that out. But at least we're wasting out Tailwind, which is really good for us. We are wasting out Tailwind. Um, I could protect this thing. Do I protect Umbreon here? Or do I just try to attack? I mean, I could hard swap into... I was going to say, we could hard swap into Gyarados, but... I feel like we just let these Pokemon die out, because who do I have in the back end? I have Garchomp. I mean, we gotta get rid of Mamoswine. We gotta get rid of Mamoswine. I'm not the crunch into this thing and foul play at the same time. And if I get off a yawn onto that thing, that'd be big. I'm gonna yawn into that. I'm gonna EQ. EQ freely. Her soul. And down goes both my Pokemon. Yeah, so we're not surviving. So Rotom's gonna go down the Buffets, which is good. But Mamoswine's out here. While I have my guard shot. I know Tailwind's close to ending. Tailwind actually might end this turn, which would be huge. But I don't know if we could eat up an Icicle. Not an Icicle Spear, an Ice Shard. If he's rocking Ice Shard for first turn prior, that could be that could be tough. The buff is taken out. Tailwind is gone. We're able to bring out Gyarados and Garchomp. He has one Pokemon left, and we do not know who it is. We do not know. It's going to be Latios. Okay, so we have Ice Fang for that. I would rather Waterfall first. Wow, this battle. This thing might have Tailwind. This thing might have Tailwind. It's scaring me, man. This thing's scaring me. I do have the Sand Bell. I do have the Sand Bell. Do I just straight up attack? Do I just get after these guys? I might just get after these guys. I might just get after them. Waterfall definitely has to go into this thing. I feel like he's going to try to read a protect. So, you know what? I'm going straight after this Latios with a shot. We're getting right after him. He doesn't have Tailwind. He could set it up with Latios. But then he would be forced to pick a Pokemon. I feel like he would pick Garchomp at that point. But he's looking to make a read on Protect right now. And we're, we're saying no. We're not going to Protect. We're just going to go straight after Attack. Because if we get out red here, we definitely lose. Let's see what he does. He's going to Draco Meteor. Into you. 
Should be able to eat that up, Gary. Let's go, Gary. Let's go, Gary. Go next, Gary. Gary, outspeed. I need you guys outspeed. I need you guys outspeed this mammoth swine. Guard time's going for Dragon Call. Bang. See you later. Cool. Yo, Gyarados. I need you outspeed here. I need you outspeed here. Let's go, Gary. You're, you're faster than this mammoth swine. My boy, Gary. Coming in hot with that waterfall. There it is, yo. What a second battle. This opponent has been giving us great battles. Coming down to the wire each time. We end up taking up that rematch and picking up that W. Third and final match coming at you guys. And this one's going to be a tough one. We're going up against a Ludicolo Rain team with Pelipper, Raikou, Scizor, Dragonite, and Grumble over here. Grumble's such a cool Pokemon. Hopefully he brings it in here. But I got to watch out for that Scizor. Scizor is just super strong. Makes me want to bring in my Infernape. But maybe not lead my Infernape. Maybe just have him as like a back end Pokemon. I think he'd be really good. Maybe T Tar Garchomp could be a good lead for us. I mean, we could go Garchomp actually with like a different Pokemon that swap into T Tar. So I might actually still go Infernape and just swap, hard swap maybe into the T Tar at that point. Just so we can get weather control. So I'm going to go in with them too. And then bring Infernape. And then do I go Umbreon or do I go Gyarados? I think Gyarados could be nice. We have the Ice Fang, we have the Intimidate. I have to watch out for that Raikou though. Raikou is definitely scary, but. I'm really liking Gyarados here. I could go Umbreon. Umbreon's not too bad here either. Snarls, foul plays. I'm going to go Gyarados though. I am going to go Gyarados. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's like to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But yo, first two battles have been amazing. They've been, they've been solid battles. Really, really close. Nice, solid battles all around. He's going to end up going into these two, which I don't mind. We know Inner Focus is on our Raikou. So what does Grumble have? What's this Grumble? What's Grumble's ability? Intimidate. It's gonna intimidate me. That's a strong intimidate. It's a great intimidate. Um, I think I might just U-turn here and EQ across the board, or I could just Sword Sands. So I'm thinking of Sword Sands here and you turning out into the Raikou. Yeah, into the Raikou. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, Grumble's Fairy. I totally forgot. That could be bad. Could be bad. Raikou's gonna set up a reflect. Okay, Grumble, what are you doing? Can you leave me alone, Grumble? Please and thank you. Please, thank you. I'm going to U-turn out here. I could go in the Gyarados here, but I think T-Tar's going to be our play because we can pop a Sand Veil too. So having that Sand Veil alongside with the What's Called could be really good. For us. Having that lovely Sand Veil and the, uh, and what's it called? The Bright Powder. Gives us a chance to dodge some moves. So if he's rocking play rough, we have a chance to dodge us really well here. We get off this Swords Dance. We go up to plus one because we were minus one. My Swords Dance up. Kind of digging that. And what's Grumble going for? Rumble is going to go for play rough. And of course he connects it still. We eat though. That's a big time eat. That is a big time eat from us. That is a big time eat from us. Surprised we ate that. So I could see him hard swapping here. I could definitely see him hard swapping maybe the Raikou or something. But I'm just going to EQ freely. And go into a... Uh... I'm just going to protect. I do not want this... Uh... I do not want this T-Tar taking this EQ. It's just not happening. Let's see. Which was Grumble? Probably into a... Uh... Pelper, right? No, Ludi Cole comes out here. Are you gonna double swap? Are you double swapping here? He's staying with Raikou. Garchomp can't outspeed the Raikou, but I wonder what Raikou's going for. Raikou's gonna go for that Volt Switch. Cool. So Raikou looks the Volt Switch out. Now Raikou's dead, which is a solid turn from us. So EQ's gonna fly. We get value out of that EQ. That's huge, because if that play rough took us out, we were definitely dead. We were dead, no problem. So Raikou should go down here. Yep. Ludi Cole takes some damage. He's gonna end up bringing out, uh, He's going to end up bringing out Pelipper here, setting the rain. I'm going to swap my team. I cannot allow this dude to have weather. No bueno if he has weather. So I guess we'll let our Garchomp go down here. We'll bring out, uh, we'll swap our T-Tar into Is Gary here. I feel like Gary is going to reply. Oh, he brings out Scizor. Brings out Scizor. Skizzy, Skizzy comes out here. Um, I feel like we just go after this, right? What do we do? I, I'd say we just Dragon Call this thing. Dragon Claw and Rock Slide, or we can Crunch. I mean, what could he do? He could fake out one of my Pokemon, but I wonder who he's gonna fake out. Right? I wonder who he's gonna fake out. I might fake out the T-Tar and then go into. No, I'm just gonna Dragon Dance here. Do I Dragon Dance? No, I don't think I Dragon Dance. I think I just go into Crunch here. I do this. Let's see what he does. He does not protect or fake out. Dragon Claw flies. We I mean, don't pick up the KO. That that hurts. But we still have speed. We get rid of you. What is is Scissor going for a Sword Dance? I think Scissor going for Swords Dance, which, which would be no bueno. Which would be no good. Definitely not good. Definitely not good. But the question is, who is he going to Bullet Punch? 
Not plus one chop? Or a super effective T-Tar shot? Grumble's gonna come back out here. I feel like we just EQ again. Intimidate comes back out here. Ah, oh, stop. Huh. What do we do here? I feel like we just EQ. Get off as much damage as we possibly can and we protect. I'm all about it. I have my Infernape in the back end, which is great. Same thing with Gyarados. So I get off Intimidate. I have my Fire Move ready to roll. But I'm gonna protect you. I feel like the Bull Punch coming here. I have a feeling. I have a nice little feeling here. Good call, Jeans. Good call. So we get off an EQ before we actually die out here. That's gonna be solid for us. That is gonna be solid. Get off some damage on the Grumble. I can bring out, uh... I could bring out Infernape, but I feel like just bringing out, uh... Gyarados and maybe hard swapping them out. Play rough, we're gonna dodge, yo. Sandbell coming in hot. We love a good old Sandbell. We love a good old Sandbell. So we know Bull Punch is flying. Uh, do I hard swap into Gary here? I think that's should be in play. Huh. I'm gonna go for the EQ again. And I'm gonna hard swap into Gyarados. I gotta play this one slowly. It's plus two. I can't deal with that. Oh, he just cancels battle. That is lovely. That is beautiful. We grab ourselves a winning record in our last BDSP video. Great set of matches for today's video. Going 2-1 and one and getting the showcase on Brown in BDSP to its fullest potential. Absolutely love this team. Got to use some of the strongest Pokemon within BDSP with the Infernape, the Togekiss, the Gyarados, Garchomp, and Titar. Then we sprinkled on a little bit of Umbreon to have some fun with it in our last BDSP video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.